everyone uh, welcome back uh, let's start the tutorial for today and uh, it's been a long time so uh, in this current tutorial I will I will, I will uh, you know take uh, the second episode I will take you to the second episode of notepad plus plus editing uh, like so in the last tutorial if you have seen I, I, I talked about some of the ideas that I shared uh, to ease your work I know if you use them it will really uh, save your work effort okay uh, so yeah, I hope you have seen them so if you haven't seen them please uh, watch them uh, so like you know uh, how to run a macro okay how to record a macro and then uh, like uh, there were this and then the second tutorial was for uh, some of the more tricks uh, in notepad plus plus okay so please watch them and yeah of course if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to this channel for, uh, so that these uh, 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 tutorials can reach to you directly okay uh, so let's for, for before doing uh, you know uh, without doing any further ado let's start for today's topic okay uh, so I'll start so I have some of the uh, ideas that I have collected while working in my uh, you know uh, MNC okay uh, so I, I, I'm gonna show you some of the uh, special re replacements that are, are required okay so for example uh, let's say I have a list of items that uh, uh, are in, in a multiple line and I want to bring I want to bring them all to a single line okay so how do I do that so for example it was uh, okay uh, yeah, so like uh, I'll just uh, it was uh, let let me say I, I just replaced them already, so I'll just bring them back to the earlier state. Okay, so okay, so let's say I have these many lines, so they they can be hundreds of lines like that. Okay, so you want to bring them all in a single line. Okay, so so uh, there are two ways to do that so first is the of course we can use the macro okay and then uh, other ways to use the regular expression so uh, so macro I've already covered in my earlier uh, videos so you can watch that so let's say uh, so what you have to do is you have to select the text and then you have to press control H to replace okay so here what you have to do is you have to just type slash s okay so so s is for uh, any space or end of line characters okay uh, so so here replace uh, with so in, here replace it we, you can use a uh, single space okay so and then in the selection if you just say uh, regular expression mode okay and then replace all so you see all of them can come back to a single line okay so that is one of the uh, requirement okay next is uh, you know extended mode so here what we have to do is let's say you have a string uh, where there are uh, star and you want to replace stars all of these stars with a tab okay so how you can do that so you have to select the text and then in the find word you have to type star and then the replace with so let's say if you give a single space okay and then you go to the normal mode and then try to do a replace okay so it is working fine let's say uh, what do you call uh, if, if you want to uh, replace it with more than one space let's say you want to replace it with a tab will it work let me check so if you just do it in a normal mode in a selection if you say replace okay so I, I just go back I need to go get it back to my earlier state yeah so now I want to replace my, the star with a, with a tab okay so if I do a uh, in a selection okay and if I do a replace all so it is not happening it's actually uh, replacing it with slash T which is what I don't want okay so I will do undo it and then select and then here if you do in normal mode it won't work you have to go to the extended mode so, and that's where the requirement of extended mode uh, uh, comes into picture okay so now if you uh, do a replace all so all all the star occurrence of occurrences of star is replaced with a tab so this is how the extended mode is useful okay 
Yeah, so I, I'll quickly go to some of the some of more examples of the regular expression. For example, there are uh, a text where you want to, you know, uh, replace uh, all the occurrences of a number uh, to, you know, you want to remove the all the occurrences of numbers. So just select the, that te that text, and uh, and uh, in the find what you have to type slash d. D is for any digit, you know, numeric numeric digit. Okay, so I replaced with, let's say you want to completely eradicate them. So just, you know, you cannot have anything or you want to put anything where you, you can keep a, you can keep a hyphen or anything you want. But then in the selection, you have to go back to the regular expression mode and then replace all. So you see, I have re I removed all the numeric digits. Okay, so this is how uh, you can do that. Okay, there are several other uh, cheat uh, cheats that you can use. So I, have, so I have this cheat sheet with me where all the meanings are uh, written. Okay, so slash and is for line, new line, slash D is for tab, slash D is for numeric a number, you know, like that, you know, slash L is for lowercase character. Okay, so you can use any of them. So I'll, I'll share this sheet with uh, with you in the in the description. Okay, so please keep keep a note of that and then so then that's how you can for example you want to replace the vertical lines okay so look there are more than one uh, you know new lines uh, how do i how do you remove them so you can do slash v is v is for vertical line and then replace with uh, what do you call uh, let's say star okay so regular expression in the selection replace all so you see uh, so so I have replaced uh, them, all the vertical uh, lines, with a star. Or you can just simply, uh, let's say, I will, I'll undo this. Okay. So you can use it as per your choice. Okay. So uh, like whatever is your requirements. For example, I would say uh, I will just replace it with a blank. Okay. So like that, you can completely remove that. Okay. So yeah. So uh, like. So you can refer this entire cheat sheet and you can use it as per your choice. Okay. So of course, I would like to know from your side, do you have any more ideas on how to uh, work with Notepad++? You can uh, certainly share with me. And uh, if you find this tutorial really useful, uh, please share with your friends. Okay. So yeah, thanks for watching.